So on Friday the 27th, 2015, the Spike development team executed a test that's been several years in the making. A uh, major milestone for us, which is the first open air test of a folding fin version of the missile. Everybody loves to see these uh, missiles coming out of a tube and going down range, but what you see there is actually the culmination of years worth of work. So just in looking at the gaps of capability and seeing where the holes are, we said we, we want to build a low-cost system that fills this gap. This goes all the way back to our initial design concepts for the missile all the way back to 2001. We initially thought of this as something that would be lightweight, man-portable, uh, something that an individual marine or sailor uh, could carry several of them with them on his person in a pack and be able to deploy from a shoulder launch configuration. Turning the key clockwise, master arm panel status. Great. We're good to go for a launch. Five, four, three, two, one. As the missile exits the tube, the air catches uh, those fins and forces them to blow back and lock uh, into a trailing configuration. We were very happy with the results. Uh, the first shot came off pretty much exactly as planned, which is great. You know, love it when a plan to get, uh, comes together and, and uh, what you expected to happen happens. We'll probably learn a lot more from the second shot uh, where we saw anomalous behavior, that pitch over that you saw. By proving out the folding fin design, that means that we can put the spike missile inside of an environmentally sealed tube, which protects the weapon itself substantially from the environment and makes it a lot more rugged and therefore a lot more suitable for a lot of environments and for uh, soldiers, sailors, and marines to be able to carry. We can say uh, with uh, holding our head high and with pride that we have uh, designed and demonstrated a system uh, that has a real capability to meet a gap uh, in the warfighter's arsenal.